kind of weather going on today? Uh, yeah, we've got some out in the east. We've had some down in Chavez County, but it's been amazing July, just how good it's been to the southeast part of the state. Carlsbad, six inches of rain. Wow. So dry July. before going into July. Amazing, just amazing. What a bounce back. Uh, we've got a shot in the arm, literally, for the month of July down there. Meanwhile, we've got some severe thunderstorms to talk about. Severe thunderstorm warnings continue for the northeast corner of the state, and one just coming on the board for Quay County and San Miguel County near Tucumcari. This one right here. This one has a potential of 60 mile per hour winds and penny size hail. Meanwhile, the storm up to the north still in effect until around 645. So we've got a good hour or so left on this one. It's drifting towards the Clayton area, but it's a strong line of storms. Of course, the southern edge of it is the strongest part. We still are hanging on to this cell just north of Roswell. It looks like it is falling apart, obviously, but it was much stronger just about a half an hour ago. Things are quieting down there in the Rio Grande Valley. Of course, we had a few showers drifting through the center, southern part of the city and things have quieted down there obviously as well. Strong storm moving into the Carrizozo area in the next 15 to 20 minutes uh, right now drifting towards the east. Could see some of this also rolling over the Sacramento Mountains but as soon as this little cluster moves over to the eastern plains where we got a little bit more of an unstable atmosphere that could, we could see that storm get a little bit more active but one thing is for sure it is a little bit cooler thanks to these storms. Las Vegas 76, 73 in Raton and 80 degrees in Clayton. Meanwhile you notice it's a little bit warmer out here in the west. The reason why is it's a little bit drier. We've got a ridge of high pressure that's starting to build up a little bit, and that is helping to dry things out. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to be completely dry because we have managed to squeeze in some showers across the area, but still, it's not going to be as active. So stormy out towards the east, scattered showers and storms as we get another front moving in overnight tonight, and temperatures will be in the 70s and 90s for the most part across much of the state. So. Uh, we're going to start out with the ridge of high pressure initially next week uh, for the first part of the week. But we've kind of been wondering where the monsoon is, and it looks like it will make a return towards the end of next week and into the weekend. That's when we get the high moving off into Texas and Oklahoma. Meanwhile, big trough of low pressure will set up to our west. That will allow that southerly flow of moisture that we look forward to this time of year to help dampen our dry weather a little bit. Precipitation forecast. Of course, overnight tonight, we'll see the bulk of the activity activity out in the east. As far as Sunday's concerned, very quiet for the most part. We'll see a few spotty showers out to the east, perhaps down south, but largely, I think as the weekend wears on, we're going to see less and less of those afternoon showers and storms. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s tonight for the northwest. Highs tomorrow in the 80s and 90s. Over to the northeast, we'll see a few showers tomorrow afternoon. That is for sure and some could be strong. For the southwest, highs into the low to mid 90s in the southeast. Watch for a few showers drifting off the Sacramento's back off into the eastern plains. That's the general movement. For the East Mountains, tonight will drop in the 50s with tomorrow's highs into the 80s and into the metro area. Maybe a spotty shower. I wouldn't count on anything significant. However, tomorrow evening, we'll get that East Canyon wind if we see some strong storms developing in the eastern plains. Highs will be in the 90s, by the way. Santa Fe, 80s for tomorrow with a few showers and storms developing. And then Sunday, we'll see that taper off with highs in the low 90s. Albuquerque, 93 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies. And I think it's going to be a pretty pleasant weekend. All right. Sounds great. Thank you, Travis.